As of this week, the Palm Beach County School District has received more than 1900 applications from employees requesting to work remotely once brick and mortar instruction begins next Monday. WPTV News Channel 5's Michelle Casada has learned many employees have already learned if they are approved, but not all know what that means. The school district says 1500 applications have already been considered eligible for remote work. Now the question is, are there remote positions available for all who have been approved? This week, Palm Beach County School District employees are expected to learn more about whether they will have a remote position once brick and mortar instruction begins next week. We don't even know what's going on, what's going to happen, what's the next step if we get approved. Or anything. This employee who wishes to conceal her identity says she's an ESE paraprofessional who has been approved to work remotely, but her position is a non-instructional job and she fears there's a chance there will not be a position for her to move to. Mainly the letter says that uh, we have to wait for our supervisor. I guess it's a game. It's like when they're passing the ball to one person to another. She says she has underlying conditions and returning to her current position in the ESE department is not an option. Most of these kids, they don't use masks. They can stain masks. And also, is that the teacher's health is compromised. The Palm Beach County School District says principals will determine first if there is a remote position for their employees seeking remote work at their school. If not, then human resources will step in to determine other opportunities. But there is no guarantee, as stated in the approval letter, employees are receiving. There is bus drivers, parents, office staff, custodial, cafeteria staff, it's all non-instructional staff that are in the limbo. Right now, they're playing the hot potato game and we are in the limbo. Michelle Quesada, WPTV News Channel 5.